Hey everybody, Bill and Deb. Hi there. Yeah. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Yes. Today is Tuesday, April the 11th. Is that correct? Close enough. Uh, I think that's correct. Um, I hope. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Look, look on the calendar right quick and see. It's the 12th. Okay. <laughs> Today is Tuesday, April the 12th. The year is 2022. Is, did I get that right? Yes. Okay, good. And just for some of you that are wondering, <laughs> Arkansas did have some major storms last night. Exactly. We are fine. They were south of us. Now, people south of us by about 50 miles, I don't know. I have not heard any reports. Well, we did have a few reach out and want to make sure that we were okay. And... And yeah, just as Deb said, uh, those storms that were going on were, were south of us, uh, probably around 70, 80 miles south of us. Uh, and we do hope that everybody is okay down there. We haven't heard any reports today, but I know that uh, we were following it on YouTube. We were following uh, Reed Timmer, and he, uh, he did get a few tornadoes as they were forming. And ironically, we were in that area about a week and a half ago. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. So anyway, but uh, we, I know you've been noticing every Friday we have a walkthrough video and all these walkthrough videos that we've been doing uh, were all folks that were at the uh, uh, Tiny House Adventures Rendezvous, which was our first one that we held in Florida back on February the 21st through the 28th of this same year, just, just a couple months ago or so. And we have several more to go. You know, uh, you'll see a few more for about the next five weeks or so uh, of uh, walkthrough videos that we will we hope to have ready to upload every Friday afternoon around five o'clock central time. But we get a lot of questions because uh, there's a lot of folks that are new to the channel and a lot of folks that are new to looking into this particular uh, culture, you might say, of cargo trailer conversions. And a lot of people ask, you know, uh, which would be better? Would it be better to build one of our own or why not just purchase one? You know, purchase a, uh, a traditional RV. And let me, let me point something else out too. Uh, not only did we have several uh, cargo trailer conversions at the Rendezvous, uh, which are all followers of ours and we appreciate that so much. We also had several followers of ours that were there in traditional RVs as well. Yes, and, and, and vans. And vans, and, too. Well, van builds. Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know. Sure so. enough. And uh, we enjoyed every second with each and every one of these folks that uh, came to the rendezvous. And as far as I know, most all of them are wanting to come back again next year for the I next one. I hope so. Yeah. We certainly enjoyed visiting with them. But what we thought we might do, we might do a, uh, we would do a comparison. And we're going to use our particular build as an example. And a lot of people don't realize this, but when we sold the red trailer, and we're not going to pick on traditional RV oh, no, manufacturers no, no, no. either. We no, want to make, no, make that no, plain no, as no. day. Okay. Nope. <laughs> but uh, after we sold the red trailer and we were getting ready to place the order for this trailer to be built, the shell, you know, for us to do our build on, we came that close. Was yours, was yours sh shorter than this mine? Close. Let's see. <laughs> that close. We came that close to just purchasing a uh, a traditional RV, didn't we? Yes, we did. Yeah. For several reasons. And yeah, for one thing was time. You time. know, we and, could. And uh, we, as you know, the red trailer was our home. Yes. We sold the red trailer. Where was we going to live? Live while we built this trailer, and the work involved. Yeah. And several of you have followed our build, and you know that uh, the first uh, two months or so was pretty brutal on us. Well, you know? yes, yes. Because uh, we actually moved into this um, about six, five weeks after we started the yeah, build. Yeah, yeah. And we did not have it anywhere near where it is now as you, I mean, we've tried to show you videos as we went along. So right. you know how long yeah. it's you know when we actually set up housekeeping in the trailer and started living in this trailer and fortunately the people that purchased our red trailer had a spot where we could park the red trailer and allowed us to do the initial stage on this trailer on their property and we could still uh live in the red trailer while we were working on it those first Very five weeks or so <laughs> yes 
<laughs> and that was very kind of them to do that, and we uh, we appreciate that so much. But when we actually did set up housekeeping in this trailer, uh, we barely had a bed. We we barely had uh, a shower, mm -hmm. and barely had a way to go to the bathroom. And that yep. was it. That was it. That was it. Wasn't nothing else but that. Nope. No. Mm -hmm. But uh, but we we got through it, and uh, of course the the blessing that we received uh, within two weeks of moving over to Florida to do the second stage of the bill was that we finally got the mini split installed and we had air conditioning and that was pure heaven, you know, right when we had air conditioning. Because May in Florida, uh, it got pretty brutal as far as heat was May concerned and as well. We were there May, June. We were there in Florida in June. was May in Florida. That's Georgia. right. You're correct. We were in Florida in June. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, so let's move on. Let's move so on. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a comparison. And, and no, we're not completely done with this trailer, of course. And many of you that have followed our build series that we include in everything on our YouTube channel, you know that we've got some trim work still yet to do. I still have to do... Uh, um, the the cabinet doors myself still have to finish uh, trimming out the bathroom in the back and, and just miscellaneous trim here and there still got to finish the shower the other two walls still had to put frp on those a few odds and ends things like that but for the most part we you know we, we can we can live a normal life <laughs> in the trailer and because of that because we can live a normal life we've been taking a break for a little while but Let's do a comparison, and what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, first, let's talk price. And when we get done, Deb was finishing up taxes the other day, and now we wait Now we wait to see if we end up owing anything, yeah. <laughs> which we'll know here shortly. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, and she figured up all the materials and everything, and it looks like once we finish everything, we're going to be setting at around 26, would you say? That includes the cost of the trailer. Yeah, that's yes. yeah, you know that's uh, after we finish. You yeah. know that's purchasing the rest of the materials and everything. It looks like we're going to end up at around twenty six thousand dollars for this trailer. Now the trailer that we were looking at at that time um, was uh, Roy could have purchased it for right around twenty five, wouldn't you say? I believe that was I'm, yeah. You know, yeah, that was many, many moons ago. Yeah, that was, well, it was uh, uh, when we actually placed the order for this trailer. Was in was, February. Was, uh, yeah, so it was like a year, almost a year and a half ago, a year and three or four months, something like that. Mm -hmm. So we could have purchased that trailer then for around 25. Now, uh, considering what the uh, traditional RV industry has been doing lately, I seriously doubt if you could purchase that trailer for that price now. Probably it probably not. would be more probably not. you know and uh, but anyway we're going to do a comparison and we're, we're looking at here the fact that we've got a very similar amount of money wrapped up in this one compared to what we would have spent if we purchased the other one and uh, so let's start off by uh, the specs okay and um, right now I probably got the floor plan uh, in editing, I'll do this, but I imagine the floor plan is up where you can see it. But first, we're going to talk about the specs on that trailer compared to this trailer. Uh, the weight on the hitch weight on that trailer was 449 pounds on it. Now, we weighed the hitch weight on this one a while back. We did a video about it, and we were around 950 pounds hitch weight. Okay. Uh, but keep in mind, too, uh, when we weighed our trailer and weighed the hitch weight, that's with it fully full. loaded. Yeah, it's full of our stuff. <laughs> ready to go into travel mode, you know. And this particular trailer that we were looking at, uh, which most of them have, this one had the uh, bed in the front of the trailer. And there's this huge, huge uh, storage compartment <coughs> underneath the bed right at the nose of the trailer. And so a person would have to, you know, you'd, you'd want to, you can add a little bit of stuff there, but you'd really have to watch your weight. And you could easily put three or 400 pounds worth of stuff. Oh, yeah, because it's in big. The, in the nose of that trailer, mm -hmm. in that uh, storage compartment that's in the front of the trailer. And, and you know when you're living full time, you're going to take every advantage of that space. <laughs> oh, yeah. Full <laughs> <Well>, advantage. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, but that's the difference. You know, of course, we're comparing that one empty weight compared to ours 
ready to ready to hook up and go down the road. Okay. Uh, the next thing is UVW. Yeah, which is the uh, the weight of the trailer, the weight of the trailer. Now we still have yet to get ours weighed, but we have a pretty good idea how much it's going to weigh. And I'm going to estimate that ours, uh, and hopefully we'll get it done while we're here in Northwest Arkansas, because there's a way station not very far from here. And we'll be moving around a little bit while we're here. So I, I'm going to be able to probably find time to run by and get it weighed. But uh, that trailer that we were looking at, the empty weight on it was... Uh, 3917. Yes, 3917. Uh, I'm estimating that our trailer weighs over six. I'm thinking six to 65. Of course, here again, you're comparing apples to oranges. Here we go again. Yeah. And let, let's, yeah, let's talk about that. Uh, our trailer will weigh that. And I may be way off on that. It, it might weigh even more than that. Let's but, hope not. but let's, let's. <laughs> That means but, Bill will have to get cold some stuff. <laughs> but our trailer, uh, I'm estimating, is going to weigh somewhere in the mid sixes, is what I'm estimating. Okay. So, but here again, that's before you load your clothes in that trailer, the, the one we would have purchased. That's before you put your clothing in it. That's before you put your groceries in it. That's before uh, you stuff that uh, huge storage compartment in the front of it full and of under gear the bed. and under the bed and everywhere else you can put stuff. You know, yeah. that is well before any of that. Um, granted, our trailer started out weighing before we ever did anything, just the bare shell weighed in right at 3,200 pounds, okay? And this one weighs 39, what? 39. 17. So ours, you know, ours was uh, only a little over 700, or right at 700 pounds lighter before we ever started our build. We did try to build build this trailer out with as uh, light a material as possible, try to keep everything as light as possible. But I already know going in that we're going to end up weighing over, you know, over 6,000 pounds. So, but here again, it's be real easy to take this one up to that too. Let's see what the next thing is here. Exterior length. They show the exterior length on that trailer to be 23, 23 seven. feet, seven inches. Ours is going to be somewhere around 25. This is a uh, eight and a half by 20 trailer. And then when you take the 20 foot and add the two foot extra for the, for the V, you're up to 22. And then we got the extended tongue, and it probably extends another three feet beyond that. So we're going to be roughly around 25 feet long. So the lengths are very, very similar when it comes to that. Um, the height? 10 foot 9. The exterior height on theirs is 10 foot 9. Ours is around 10 foot 6. Uh, their exterior height, though, they're counting uh, the height of the rooftop air conditioner. Uh, we went with a seven foot six inch ceiling in ours. I seriously doubt if this one, I didn't see a spec on that, but I mm. seriously doubt if that one has a seven foot six inch ceiling height because their height is, is, is being counted when you add the height of the, uh, the, the air conditioner, the overhead air conditioner on top. And we have a mini split where the outside unit is mounted on the tongue. The next thing, what do we got exterior here? Exterior width okay. of this one was 88 inches. Right. Ours is wider than that. Mm -hmm. And uh, that might be an issue with some folks uh, towing our trailer. Uh, it's an eight and a half wide, which makes the exterior width right at 102 inches. And this one is 88 inches. So this one's about 14 inches wider, exterior width. And I will be honest with you, um, it's a little tricky, you know, especially when you hit real narrow roads or if you're buzzing along on an interstate uh, running 65 and all of a sudden you got to slow down because they've got some construction going on and they've got these concrete barriers to reroute you and all that kind of stuff. I am, I, my eyes are peeled. I've got one eye peeled on my mirror to get my, my rear uh, my left side of the trailer at hugging the yellow line as close as I can get. And of course the other eye is peeled <laughs> forward. And I have so, my eyes shut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> but, but yeah, uh, that could be an issue. That could be an issue for some right there is the difference in, in width. However, that width, when we move to the inside, the width has allowed us, you know, to run our bed east and west, and yet we still have a, a nice uh, walkway uh, between the foot of the bed and the outside of the trailer to walk back and forth uh, to the bathroom and then back up to the kitchen and what have you. So, uh, you know, there's pros and cons with that extra width. And what's the next thing? Uh, fresh water tank. Okay. Their fresh water tank, they show is 30 gallons. 
uh, since we did our own freshwater tank uh, and we mounted it under the bed rather than under the trailer, we have a 65 gallon freshwater tank. And then their gray water tank is it's also 30 gallons. 30 gallons. I thought I had that on the. Uh, Anyway, well, you didn't. never mind. Uh, their gray water tank is uh, 30. 30, and we have a 65-gallon gray water tank. They show that they have a 30-gallon uh, black tank. We have a dry toilet set up, so we don't have a black tank. Okay. Now, a, a little side note on that. I was looking at options you can get, and you can get uh, with this new trailer, the, with this other trailer, the traditional RV, you can get what they call a uh, winter package. And what the winter package consists of are heating pads for the tanks uh, so that, uh, you know, they can handle the colder weather in, in the wintertime. Uh, their tanks are going to be mounted, I'm pretty sure, under the chassis. Ours are mounted inside the trailer. Uh, under the bed so uh, so then uh, that part of it we don't have to worry about that because of course the inside of our trailer is heated and cooled and we don't have to be concerned with that so uh, so if you wanted to live in it if you're going to be living in this other trailer full time you would have to you would want to get the winter package if you're going to be spending time in cold weather and even when we were down in Florida we still had a few evenings now and then that it got down below freezing you know, last winter. So right. what's the next thing on the list? Uh, awning. We awning. Don't, we don't have an awning. We don't have an awning. And this one, of course, has a 15-foot awning on it. But then there's things we have that this does not. Right. Well, you know, we, we, care, we love our gazebo, our gazelle gazebo. We've done two or three videos on our gazelle gazebo, and we absolutely love it. Uh, there have We have been in places where you can't... Uh, use an awning because we park where we just barely have it fitting between trees and you wouldn't be able to pop the awning out and what's the next thing that's it that's it all that's right it. now let's talk about a couple of things we'll go to the uh, floor plan well i wanted to talk about what we have that this doesn't offer for the same price okay and which will i was planning on getting into okay, that when I'm we sorry. go to the floor plan Never mind. <laughs> can we go to the floor plan sure. now okay <laughs> um of course, ours has the bedroom in the front, and they show the the. Uh, no, no, there they show their bedroom in the front, and it's uh, one thing about this particular trailer that we did appreciate, and which is one reason why we were so interested in it was that it had a real queen, not an RV queen, but a real queen, a full 80 inches long, which is important for me uh, because I'm a tall dude, you know. Uh, so that was one thing that we did really appreciate. What this trailer also has that we do not have is a slide out. And in the one that we were looking at, even though they don't show it here on this particular one, but the one that we were looking at, um, they, they offered it also with a couch. And I believe the one we were going to get, had we have done that, it would have had the couch instead right. of the dinette set on it. Right. Um, uh, rear bath, same, we got the rear bath, same kind of deal there. Uh, but on the slide, here again on the slide there's places we have been where it's possible that we wouldn't have been able to use the slide well it would have been difficult yeah yeah we would have had to really and we've watched folks when they yeah. pull their rig in you know they and have they've to got go a slide and adjust. yeah <laughs> they have to go the out they have to yeah look at the trees and everything and you know get back in and pull it forward a little more or pull it backwards a little more or sometimes pull it all the way back out and shift the whole trailer over you know uh, and then they have issues if they're on a narrow pad, which this campground we're in right now, the pads are just barely as wide as the trailer. Then they have issues with their steps working good and all kinds of stuff. So, you know, but uh, it did offer a slide, which makes it feel more roomy on the inside. Absolutely. And, and we do appreciate that, that, that part of it. What, what would you like to, to mention, dear, on that one? Well. Anything else? It would be, um, it has a pantry, which I don't have a pantry. That's true. Now. Let's move into the other things that we do have, and I'm sure that's what you wanted to talk about. Um, on that particular trailer, the one we were looking at purchasing, uh, I looked at the specs on what they offer for the one single battery. It's a 30, they said it was a 30 amp battery. That's what it yeah. was, which, you know, I mean, come on, it won't do that. That runs your 12 volt lights. Right, right. But it runs your 12 volt lights and your water pump if you're, uh, if you're not connected to city water. Right. So, uh, you know, that's all it's going to be able to do. Now, for what we're going to end up having in ours, we have uh, four 200-watt 
solar panels on top of the trailer. Uh, our uh, battery bank is a lithium iron phosphate battery. We wired it up. We made our own battery uh, and we wired it up in series to make a 24 volt battery. At 24 volts, it's um, 270 amp hours. Plus, we also have a 3000 watt inverter and we can run everything in the trailer. We are total electric. Uh, whereas this trailer uh, is going to, it'll have a gas stove. Uh, gas it, hot? It, well, propane. Let's, let's, let's propane. back it up. Let's say okay. propane stove. It'll have a propane uh, water heater. Uh, sometimes you can get them where they'll go uh, either propane or, or 12 volt. Um, so it'll have those things which we don't have on this, which in turn um, causes you to have to use less power you know as far as uh, uh, voltage is concerned That's you right. know electrical power whether right. it be shore power or battery power if you did add a system to it later so uh, so yeah uh, that's that's one thing that we have now it was so funny the other day when we knew all these storms were coming and we had a fairly decent storm the other day yeah, once we got yeah, to this yeah, spot that we were at yeah. and uh, Deb said, well, if the power goes off, at least we'll still have our lights. And I looked at her and I said, dear, you seem to <laughs> Sorry, <forget."> Marvin. <laughs> I said, all I've got to do is throw a switch. The inverter takes over. The automatic transfer switch <laughs> takes over and we're powering everything. And we can go when we're careful uh, without any good sun or anything like that. We can go for two days, you know, uh, uh, staying cool or staying warm, whatever we need to do, you know, be, as long as we're careful, uh, we can do that. Am I flopping my hand around you're, too much? You're beating I'm your sorry. leg to make a point. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there you go. Now, there's one thing that we haven't discussed. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we could the talk shower. about before we move on. Okay. Our shower, this shower, yeah, is a 24 by 38, which is a nice size shower. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Uh, because in the red trailer, we had a 32 by 32. Right. But that was one of the things that drove Bill crazy was because he was always hitting his elbows. Yeah, I'm a big boy. You know, so, this good. trailer has a 36 by 48 inch shower. Right. And I haven't heard him complain in there. No. <laughs> I don't complain in there. I hadn't heard you. At all. In fact, you know, some uh, because it's so um, heavenly, sometimes I spend more time in there yeah. than I should. And when I'm, when I'm uh, utilizing my fresh water tank for water, I use too much water. Right, he does. <laughs> so, because I'm thinking, I haven't heard that shut off. <laughs> What's the deal? <laughs> Actually, you know, I didn't think it would be this way, but I probably use more water than you do taking a shower. I know you do. Oh, you do. Mm. I see. <laughs> but anyway, you know, little things like that. And um, this one had a um, refrigerator. That's the two-way or the three-way. It's two-way. Two-way. Mm -hmm. Propane or or. Uh, and see, I prefer. Of course, because we're 100% electric, yeah. I prefer the regular household refrigerator. Now, what they have been doing in some of these trailers, and I think it was an option in this trailer here, they have been going to 12-volt um, compressor refrigerators, which if I was to look into a traditional RV, that's probably what I would want. In fact, we looked into putting a 12-inch, 12-volt uh, compressor fridge in this trailer, rather than the standard house house type but fridge. But they didn't come in red. Well, they didn't come in red, plus <laughs> the price was, uh, I think the cheapest I found was around $1,600, and we got this for like four. Okay, my other thing versus the conventional trailer versus what we have, and this is from my perspective, because I'm the one that does 99% of the cooking, is there is literally zero food prep area unless you take it to the dinette set. Yeah, very little. But if you went with the couch, you wouldn't have that. That's true. Here, I have this huge yeah. area here. I have area over here. I have the fold-out table. Mm -hmm. I have lots of area. I've, I've made homemade bread in here, uh, three batches, where I had batches of bread rising, uh, you know, mm -hmm. without any worries about, oh my gosh, I don't have any room to move. <laughs> So that's from my perspective. Yeah. So in this one, I have plenty of food prep area in the already purchased one. We would have had to have added something. I don't know what, but something. Yeah, we would have figured it out. Well, we would have figured it out. Well, yes. Yeah. Sure we would have. Yeah. 
So, you know, I don't know if there's anything else we can talk about when it comes to that, uh, except maybe one more thing, unless if you have something more you want to add. I'm done. Said my piece. <laughs> <laughs> one, one thing that we have not considered, which is important to many, is labor. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, when you purchased that one, if had we have purchased that one for twenty five grand, we would have already been traveling. Yeah, except that we would have had to finance it. But yeah, <laughs> but on the other hand, you can also get them where uh, you know that you can you can get them financed where you're. We were going to be able with minimal down. We were going to be able to get it for under three hundred dollars a month, if I remember correctly. You know, yeah. but and, when I do that plus my park space. All of a sudden, I was looking at almost seven hundred a month. True, but when we finish this one, we will be out of pocket a full twenty six grand inside yeah. of a year, a little this over a year. Is, this is true, but it was spread out. But then again, <laughs> okay, whatever you say, dear. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say, I just know I'm going to spend the next two years paying off the credit uh, cards. It's better than ten to pay off your travel trailer. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> so there's so many ways to look at that. And, and yeah, so we, we put a lot of labor into this. And of course, uh, there is value in labor. Whereas, you know, this one over here for 25 includes labor. Yes. You know, I mean, you could throw your factor. stuff in this one and take out the next mm -hmm. day. Yeah. Yeah. And, and be in relative comfort, yeah. you know. Sure enough. Um, instead of how long has it been? Well, it's been 11 months that we've been working, almost 11 months that we've been working on this one. Actually, be twelve months. Yeah, and we're still on, we still got a little bit and, left to go. So actually, you know, yeah, labor intensive. So we're we're not saying that this is better than buying a traditional RV or the other way around. Uh, one thing about this particular trailer, I know where every inch of wire is in this trailer. I know where every inch of plumbing is. I know where every joint is. Uh, if I had any kind of an issue, I'd have a pretty good idea where I would need to go look for it right out of the chute. You know, uh, because, you know, we built it. I know where everything is. And, and sometimes in a traditional RV, you have to depend on the service department, you know, to, uh, to or know. Or you have to get things. out the owner's manual and go through and yeah. find this, where they or, put it. Or just simply start digging. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so anyway, I hope this was helpful. It might have might have made it clear, clear as can be for you, or it might have confused you mm -hmm. even more. I don't know. What do you think? I, I hope not. I hope I we didn't know. confuse you. We didn't. That was not our intention You know, the, at all. the main goal of all of this, we feel, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Build your own. Yeah. Go buy a regular already built one. Just get out there and enjoy life. Yes. Life absolutely. is too short to not enjoy. Absolutely. Get out there and enjoy it. We, we've been full-timing now for over three years, and we have zero absolutely zero regrets yes our regrets are we haven't traveled enough <laughs> <laughs> which when we take care of business in this area where we're at right now and it's going to be a couple week, few more weeks here then we're going to be hitting the trail and, and uh, embarking on a new adventure and we're going to take you along absolutely is that right yes all right our merchandise our shirts you can find it at uh, www.iridetinyhouseadventures.com for our store and we want to thank sherry with vdspromo.com for helping us with our graphic work helping us with our website helping us with our store yeah absolutely so. if you need some help in that department give her give her a holler we will help you with the contact information if that's what you need to absolutely do. all right anyway now this is bill and deb with i ride tiny house adventure saying we're not camping we're living Get out there, do some living, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye-bye.